Hey guys, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com and today we have the ASUS or ASUS Chromebook and this is the C302C um, version. So whatever you want to do with that, that's the way it goes. Now a Chromebook is basically a, it is technically a laptop but it's not a conventional PC. It is something that basically just uses Chrome and uses the internet to do everything. There's some offline op applications but pretty much it's internet reliant. Let's look at the outside before we dive in. It's very nicely designed. It's an aluminum build on the outside. We have all the good stuff on the side. We have a USB-C port. We have a micro SD card. Speaker on one side. Speaker on the other side. 3.5mm uh, headphone jack. A power button. Volume up and down. A charge light. And a another um, USB-C. Uh, it comes with a charger. It comes with USB-C. You can see that in our... Full, uh, unboxing video nothing on the side nothing on the back nothing like that it's very nice very nicely kind of clean layout so let's go in and take a look at this thing excuse the reflectivity of this device it's always very difficult to film a tablet now with a Chromebook as you can see there's Chrome and pretty much nothing else you click something and Chrome pops up and the reason for that is it's supposed to be super bare bones. So this is the Chrome Web Store. You can do things like search for different applications, none of which you really technically download. Um, they can, some of them can be used offline, but this device is primarily used to uh, uh, be around internet. So unless you're around a hotspot or you have direct Wi-Fi connected, you won't be able to do a lot of things. We've opened up the Kindle app here because we're Goody Reader and we always like to show what reading is like. So this is the conventional Kindle application. Uh, it it It's like reading on a tablet because effectively the top screen here is a tablet. I'm utilizing the keyboard down here off camera. So with this, it's very bare bones. Um, it's read.amazon.ca effectively because this thing doesn't have... Uh, conventional kind of OS operating system you can't really just use it like a PC and download files and programs and install Photoshop and install Adobe Premiere and all that kind of stuff because you just simply can't do that it is a online only device so we're just reading a Christmas Carol as you can see here if we go back it now prompts me to type in my password which I will do And then we can go to my library. So if I go back to my library, you can see here that this is all the stuff that we've downloaded. And um, from there, you can basically just, you know, click on anything from Amazon. And we're showing Amazon because it's one of the things that I have the biggest collection of, of, uh, of actual stuff. You know, I, I have the biggest collection of... Um, content that we can use so you can see you still do have guided view it doesn't look as good because you are <laughs> you're effectively just reading on chrome which which you pretty much are so uh i mean the experience isn't bad but it's like reading on a tablet so in terms of the reading experience that's really not what you would buy this for i mean you'd buy an e-reader otherwise Chromebook is very limiting in the sense where once you go back to your home screen, there's really nothing more you can do other than use the online experience. You can do Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and you can change displays, and we have a whole kind of settings menu here where you can go through everything and, you know, the bare bones stuff, you know, Bluetooth, accessibility, privacy, and stuff like that. But it doesn't get much more in-depth than that. Like I said, you can't download Adobe Premiere and put it on here. Everything relies on you using the internet, pretty much. So, uh, this thing runs about five hundred dollars. So, uh, it's it's hard to say if it's going to be worth it or not. However, I believe that Chromebooks, for the first time ever, have outsold MacBooks according to some statistics and whatnot. So, there is some validity here. It's not for everyone, and I would personally say it's not for me. I like a little bit more kind of everyday offline capabilities. Um, I mean, there's not even any USB ports on here. You will have to use USB-C or use adapters. Um, so that's basically it. I mean, a Chromebook is pretty bare bones and it's, it's to mainly utilize Chrome. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or want to see anything else on the Chromebook, let us know. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter.